So welcome back friends. If you are using Sonoff RF bridge in home assistant, you must watch this video till the end. Sonoff RF bridge is indeed an essential add-on to any home automation system as it lets your cheap 433 megahertz RF devices to communicate with your home automation server. Using this RF bridge, you can send and receive RF signals directly from within Home Assistant over the MQTT protocol. Around two and a half years ago, I had posted video number 30 where I had explained about how to integrate and use Sonoff bridge in Home Assistant using a Python script. Since then, I am using this RF bridge with my Home Assistant setup. I have a lot of RF buttons and door sensors installed in my house and this bridge let all of them communicate with Home Assistant easily. Within a few months of using this RF bridge integration, I had noticed that whenever the Home Assistant server reboots, it sends some random pre-configured RF codes automatically. I tried to figure out this issue. The only logical step for me was to change the retain flag settings of all my RF switch codes to false. But somehow this didn't work. I searched all over the internet but didn't find a single post or article on this issue. Hence I thought maybe I am the only unfortunate person who is facing this kind of weird issue. After all my research, along with many hit and trials, I was still unable to resolve this issue. Now it had become a headache for me. So wanna know how I get out of it? Keep watching this video. After all my efforts were unfruitful, I changed my strategy and instead of looking for a solution, I started focusing on the root cause. I then added all my RF bridge sensors to dashboard to see what happens to them after a reboot. What I had noticed was, when Home Assistant reboots, initially it fluctuates the values of all my RF binary sensors to unknown, then to unavailable, then to on, and then finally to off. And due to this rapidly changing states of these sensors, many automations associated with them trigger. And as those automations trigger, a lot of unwanted actions happen after a reboot. Now my job was to either stop these sensor value fluctuations or configure the associated automations to simply ignore these false triggers at startup. And I chose the later part to stop those automations to execute any actions at startup. For that, I created one toggle helper named RF unavailable. Then I revisited all automations triggered by my RF sensors and added this RF unavailable helper as a condition in them so that the automations should execute only when the RF unavailable helper state is off. Now my last job was to turn on this RF unavailable helper immediately at startup even before my RF binary sensor values start fluctuating. To achieve this, I opened the input boolean.yaml file and changed the RF unavailable helper's initial value to on. This will instruct Home Assistant to set its value to on during startup. Now we also need to turn it off after startup process to let automations execute normally once everything is settled. For that, I had created another automation. Previously, while finding the root cause, I had noticed that my doorbell sensor was the last one to turn back to off state. So I used it to trigger this automation that whenever the doorbell state changes to off for 30 seconds and the RF unavailable helper state is on, 
it should turn it off. And now, finally, it was time to check if the issue is resolved or not. For surveillance, I had also added the RF unavailable helper to the dashboard just to see if it turns on before other sensors and turns back to off once all RF sensors settle down to off state. And then I restarted Home Assistant. As you can see, the RF unavailable helper turned on before RF sensor state fluctuations start. And now all RF sensors, including doorbell, have turned off. And within a few seconds, RF helper should also turn off. And that's it. Although Home Assistant had triggered all RF automations, but we didn't let them execute actions and do unwanted things. So this way, I had managed to resolve this issue of random triggering of my RF devices at reboot Later, I had also created one more automation to stop performing RF actions if the doorbell state turns unavailable anytime, even without a reboot. And after deploying this strategy, I have never faced any issue of random RF switching now for last two years. So this was how I figured out and fixed this issue two years ago. If you know any other way to resolve it, do comment below as this will be of a great help for the whole Home Assistant community. Also comment your queries below if any. You may also join VCC Ground Telegram channel for deep discussion. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do it. Please consider subscribing this channel now. Thanks for watching this video and now we will meet in another exciting video soon. Till then, goodbye friends.